Hello everyone, <coughs> I am Chester44, and welcome to this let's play of Boulder's Gate 2, Shadows of Amun. Last episode, we went and looked through the Sahuagin city down here. Killed a whole load of, uh, well, Sahuagin, who were rebels, and also the native Sahuagin, who were also fighting us. We also, uh, found this old drove structure down here, and managed to get some loot out of there, as well as something that will allow us to go and take care of the rebels. So, let's go down here and see if we can do just that. Oh, hi, rebels. Hands up, kitties. Who wants to die? my task. Okay, Quite you switch out to the bow for a minute. Yes. We can only do it from range, I think. A dangerous mistake. Because they're in the water and we can't reach them. Oh, I'll show you a fight. Oh, the eyes. Yeah. What is my task? oh, we got rebels we can actually fight. On my honor. You two go after those, we'll go after the rest. Nature, take the life she gave! Can you two finish off that rebel? I won't let my friends be hurt! Alright, you two come down here, take care of these rebels. On my honor. You shall suffer my wrath! No, that wasn't what you were supposed to pick up. Yes. Body, my the and victory. On my honor. No, oh, no, oh, this is kind of no, the eyes. Yeah. My blade will cut you down the side. Oh, hands up, kitties. Who wants to die? Next time. Come on, finish him off. There we go. It's good to adventure in such a place. The blood quick and knowing that even Okay, so that was kind of annoying. My task. I await your word. But we took care of him. Now, further in. You have the orb, surface creature. This means only that the most sacred Senate Yearly could have given it to you. She has sent us word of your intentions. Wish to be brought to the most honorable Vilinati, he who saved us. I am willing to lead you to him, surface beast. Yes, take me to see this prince of yours. Excellent. Follow me then. It is not far from here. Thank you. Ah, so it seems the surface creatures we have heard so much. So much about have finally come to see us. Are these the ones that your mother spoke of, Salinithil? Mother? They are most honored Vilinati. The most sacred Senate Yili was most specific in her description. Ha! Uh, I do not think the description had to be all that specific. As if they would be anyone else, ugly as they are. Their flesh, it is so soft and scaleless. My skin may not have scales, but it has seen many suns come and go. Bo thinks you could use some sun too. Then you might not smell so much like wet laundry. But your hideous appearance means little. As does this nonsense about Zekola sending you, as Salinithil and her mother seem to believe so strongly. What matters is that, is that mad Ixenthal Tokal has sent you surface beings to collect my heart. He is so certain of your success that now is the perfect time to strike. We have a heart, surface human. A heart that you can return to with to Ixel the Tokal and claim as Vilinatis. The guard of the city of Caverns will be down and we will be able to strike. Do not attack any guards. This will tip off Ixel the Tokal to your treachery. Wait for our attack, then launch your own assault on the king and his baron. 
I will come as soon as I can. Once each of the Tokal and Thelos, Thelocasiel are dead, I shall take the throne of the city of Caverns. The madman shall be dead. And the city of Caverns shall be saved with the return of its, ex of its exiled blood. Yes, yes, whatever. The throne is what is important here. So, surface creature, assuming that you are capable of intelligent thought, do you agree to this plan? Or shall we be forced to engage in simple slaughter? Must it come to slaughter, Sahuagin? Your priestesses speak of your entire people needing your blood. Have you attempted to resolve this with the king peacefully? You have met Ixel the Tokal. What do you think, Herdwan? If, of course, you are capable of coherent thought. No, there can be no peaceful resolution. The king is mad. He does not see reason. And that will be his undoing. The king has offered me a reward for your heart. Is your deal better than his? Bah! You get to live, you hideous, finless thing. Is that not enough for you? Most honorable Villinati, we are trying to gain the cooperation of these creatures. We need their help. Do not, do not agitate them, I beg of you. Sekola grants power to those who take it, not those who rely on the assistance of weaker beings. How can you believe that Sekola has sent them? <sighs> but an attack is impossible without them. Very well, I suppose some reward is called for, but I have nothing to give until the throne is taken. How do I know you'll keep your word then after it is done? I haven't given you my word, creature. You shall be rewarded as I see fit, no better. Do not seek to be presumptuous. Will I be free to go once this is over? Of course. Your kind does not belong here with us, and we are not like the vicious troll that we would turn even on those who would offer who would offer to help us. After Ixil the Tokal is dead and you have been given your reward, you may leave the city of Caverns and go off into the Underdark, if that is your wish. Will I be free to go once this is over? Oh, yeah. I agree to your plan, then. I shall return to the king with your fake heart. Maybe you are intelligent enough for a surface species. Take this heart and bring it to Ixel the Tokal. I shall set up my forces and prepare for the attack. This is the only way to save our people, human. I pray that you are indeed the one promised by Sekola, and that we shall all meet with success. Okay, then. Exit to the Underdark, Prince's Stronghold. So that's the way we go to leave to the Underdark. And I guess the Underdark is where uh, we need to go in order to get my soul back. Wonderful. How fun the Underdark is going to be. Well, let's look around the Stronghold a bit, though I don't think there's really much to see here. No, there really isn't. It doesn't have that many guards. I mean, we killed a lot of his guards, truth be told. Royal High Priestess Senate Yili and Captain Fair Lattice death? Pardon me? What's that about? Why would they be dead? Something ain't right here. Why are they dead? You know, my last owner always said I was sharp and edgy. <laughs> he was such an ass. Yes, you've told me this multiple times. Why are those two dead? I mean, I liked them. <coughs> Something here is very wrong. That's what the heart looks like? Ugh. Can 
Okay, sell the bolts while we still can. Okay, we can sell the bolts of biting. I don't get why paralytic bolts can't be sold. That makes sense. Great, now I'm really worried. Okay, King Ixilthatogal. Oh ho, it is my surface human. Come to me once again. And does it have... Why, yes, I think I smell the icor of a rebel. You have the heart with you. Yes, 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 yes! Excuse me. I knew this was coming. Yes, I did. My men reported your return, and I asked Sokola if it was done, and he told me that it was. So I sacrificed a few hatchlings and a guard to the Shark Father, and I had the rest of the guards prepare for the festival. There will be a feast tonight! Not that we were planning on feasting on you, my favorite little human. No, no. You weren't planning on eating my human, were you, Baron? Uh, no. No, I wasn't planning on it, most honorable Ixil the Tokal. Liar! I heard you talking earlier. So go be a good Baron and get the reward for my little human here. It has certainly deserved one, oh yes. Most exalted one! Alarm! Alarm! The rebels! The prince! They have crept into the city of caverns and they are attacking! What? You... You have betrayed me, my human! This cannot be! I told you that the surface beasts could not be trusted. Oh, shut up, Thelo Cassil! Just kill them! Kill them! I want all of their heads on my plate! To battle and victory! Kill the king! Oh, the king's dead. Now for the rest. I appear to be momentarily paralyzed. And we lost him. I gotta reload, god damn it. Alright, let's give this another try and hopefully with less uh, failure and dying, eh? Alright, get killing all of them. On with the killing. This time we're going a lot better. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes! Ooh, South Walk and Treasury Key. And magical rope. This enchanted rope will allow the user to descend or ascend any height. It will stretch to any length and still maintain its strength. It can be used to descend into the Underdark through the hold of the Sahuagin Guard. Ooh. Hello, Prince. Okay, his voice is too deep, I don't think anyone can hear him. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. So I am now the king of the city of caverns. The mad tyrant is dead, and we are well rid of him. May Sokola gnaw upon his bones for an eternity. You have done our people a great service, human. Greater, perhaps, than you even know. With Ixil the Tokal dead, the exiles can now return to the city of caverns. Where once our people grew weak, now they can become strong again. Is that what we've done? They... they sound like they're going to take over the world. But there's so few of them now. I suppose anyone can dream after all. Their blood will return to mix with the old, and only together can we protect our city from the advances of the Illithids and the Drow. Except the Tokal was too mad to see what he was doing. And now the city of caverns is saved. The prophecy is completed, even if not quite the way that Pale Eel thought it would be, eh? We owe you a debt, human. We are unfamiliar with your kind, but you are welcome amongst us, and 
You did more than was asked, bearing the brunt of the battle. For that, I give you the first spoils of war. Take the treasury key from Ixil Zatoko's corpse. Use it to enter the city's treasury and take what you will. I am feeling generous today. To enter the Underdark, you need the magic rope from the king's corpse. Use it to go down the pit behind my former throne. Okay! Mission accomplished. The Mad King of the Swa Sahuagin is dead, and the rebel prince Vili Nati has assumed their throne, thanking me for helping to restore the weakened Sahuagin to strength and saving their city. He told me I should take the treasury key on Ixil Tatoko's corpse and take whatever I wanted from the treasury as a reward before I go to the Underdark. Which I shall do right now. Oh! And we have... Sahuagin strides now. It's protection from the elements. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, there's the magical rope. Toss that in there. There's the treasury key. Toss that in there. Protection from the elements. 75% protection from all elements. That's actually very, very good. On any one target. Nice. Now what's this? This scroll seems to be a collection of stories about great wars of the Sahuagin. They mention planned offensives against land dwellers all along the Sword Coast, as well as tales of past offensives. The Sohuagin appear to be a particularly warlike race, constantly planning full-fledged invasions on the shores, but rarely following through due to incessant infighting. The events that you have seen in this particular settlement would seem to bear that out. An interesting insight into the Sahuagin culture. Perhaps so. Alright, power word stun. We can throw that in there. Okay. A few more items for identifying. We got a priestess nearby who will be able to identify anything we can't identify. It'll probably be all of this. This is a rod. What kind of a rod is that? It's weird. Senior priestess, you have anything to say? I shall take my mother's place and be the high priestess for Villinati as he restores the city of caverns. You have done well, human. May Sakola bless you with your with strength for your service to us. Well, thank you very much. Prince, you have anything to say? You shall always be welcome in the city of caverns, certain creatures. I hope your journey in the Underdark goes well for you. Well, we can certainly hope. All right, Priestess, we have some items. What are they? We got a spear. Impaler plus three. The Impaler has a palpable aura of magic that hints at the vicious nature of the weapon and why it has been a favorite of several powerful orc chieftains in the past. When a victim is struck, they are, as one would guess, very nearly impaled, run through as the mass of enchantment does its dirty work. Plus ten piercing damage. Holy shit. Rod of Lordly Might. Also called the Wrath of the Three Kings, though not associated with any named king in particular, this rod was likely made in 1090 DR. It saw use during the Battle of Bones, but for which side is uncertain, as it was found amongst the dead after a larger skirmish. Three buttons unlock the rod's magic. The first transforms it into a fearsome enchanted mace. The second a hypnotic flaming blade, the third a barbed spear. Only warriors can properly use its exotic mix of weaponry. This rod may transform into any of the following weapons when used. Each weapon may also change back into the rod at will. A mace, where the target must save or go into a panic for two rounds. A plus one flaming longsword, target must save or be held. And a plus three spear, target must save versus spell or take magical damage. That's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Why are you using a Jatha the Drinker? That one heals. That one regenerates. And immunity to fear. Considering, as I said, I put in... Uh, I put a mace out. 
These are... Mm, I'll put this in here. Put the wrong item type. Oh, I need to put it there? Okay. So, if I do that... And we have a plus two mace. Is that the only time I can use it? Well, I mean, I have it now. Hopefully I didn't, like, completely screw me over. Impaler is damn impressive. Is there anyone skilled with spears? I would have expected you would be skilled with spears. You are not. You are not. You actually are. Interestingly enough. So you've got the Flail of Ages, which does a variety of damage and is a plus three weapon, but a spear, actually. Oh no, wait, you can't? Not usable by Fighter Cleric. You, do you have skill with spears? You do not. So really, it's not useful to us. What's the mace you're using? Mace of Disruption, which is good against undead. Okay. Well, I think we'll sell the Impaler then. Yes. Okay, switch back to that sword. Yes. And that's what Very we'll do. Well. Come on, what about now? Alright. No? With that, we can make come our way on, down towards on. the Underdark. Gonna be a bit of a run. We'll rest before we go down. And I'm pretty sure Aerie is going to be terrified and hate this. Oh boy. You know, I wonder what would have happened if we had gone down with, uh... If we had that Drow companion with us. They would probably be able to provide a lot of information about the Underdark. And might even have, uh... More knowledge on things that could help. That is not the way we should go. We need to go down these stairs. Unfortunately, I don't have her with us because of the whole reputation penalty. I don't like having that. Okay. Oh, uh, something I didn't mention. The last episode you saw, I kind of started a fight that I didn't intend. Well, we got a really, really good uh, cloak out of it. The Cloak of Mirroring. Mirroring deflects all spell damage, which includes offensive spells like magic missiles, but not disabling spells such as Hold Person. So, pretty much, I gave it to Jahera, and now Jahera is completely immune to, mag to damaging magic spells. I mean, Frederick would be a good choice to have it, but the Cloak of Reflection actually is a good thing to have because it's good against electrical damage and reflects electrical damage back. If he's the first target of a, uh, of a chain lightning spell or lightning bolt spell, he's going to be just fine. It's going to bounce back and hopefully it won't hit anyone else. Although now that I think about it... Maybe I should swap the cloaks. Make our frontline fighter immune to all magical damage. That actually would be good. Add in the etherealness. Oh my god, he could become a completely immune to everything except disabling spells. You know what? I take it back. Yeah, we're doing that. Which means once a day, Frederick is going to be a tank who is completely immune to everything unless you can grab him and hold him. Oh! Oh, that is good. That is very, very good. And you've already got a little bit of magic resistance. Oh, yeah. You've got 10% magic resistance. That's good. This is... This is fan-fucking-tastic. All right, let's get a rest. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, because it seems like the point where we should end. Next episode, we descend into the Underdark, for I must find my soul.
that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44, that is Frederick Leinhart, Minsk, Sir Adamant, Jehera, Imowen, and Airy. This has been a Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Amen. And I shall see you all next time.